Now I could say smokes are rolling, or I could say fire in a hole. Let's make some tri-tip with chimichurri sauce. Please stay tuned. All right, let's put together our chimichurri sauce. I got my mini food chopper here. I'm going to take some uh, parsley that I washed off. And we're going to cut the leaves off that parsley. Put it in the mini food chopper. Parsley. That's all it takes. A little bit of parsley. You want to just cut the stems off of it. Put the leaves in the chopper. Get some more of that leaves off the parsley. No stems though. We don't want any stems. So just the leaves of the parsley into the mini food chopper. And we're going to chop them up a bit. That's not enough. Gotta have more than that. That ain't enough. We gotta cut some more of that parsley off of there. Cut some more of that parsley off of there. What do you say about that? Okay, oh, it smells good already. Parsley smells good. I don't want the stems though. Just the leaves. Okay? Let's get that in there. It's a hassle, huh? Okay, let's get the get that parsley chopped up, get some more of it cut off the bush. Parsley off the bush, baby. What's better than that? There you go. All right, so some stems went in there, so big deal. What's the big deal? It ain't no big deal. Just gonna chop that up some. Okay. To that, we're gonna add the most important ingredient, which is garlic. And you want about about 10 cloves of garlic when they're about that size. If they're smaller, you need more. If they're, let's say, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about 10 cloves of large cloves of garlic. Let me get that in there. Get that chopped up. Okay. And to that we're going to add a tablespoon of salt, regular old salt, tablespoon of pepper, regular old pepper. Then we're going to put a half a cup of, uh, this is garlic infused olive oil that I'm going to put in there. About a half a cup of that. You could put three quarters of a cup if you wanted to, if you like it that way. You don't have to use garlic infused olive oil, you can use any kind of olive oil you want. Then we're going to put some red wine vinegar that we have, about a half a cup of that. Red wine vinegar. There you go. Okay. And some oregano. About a tablespoon of dried oregano in there. And we're going to chop that all up together. What we're looking for is this right here. This is perfect. This is the perfect chimichurri right here. See that? It's a kind of a paste. See that's beautiful. I'm going to uh, add some more parsley to that and chop that some more and then I'm going to put it in a jar and put it in the refrigerator. Uh, let it chill down a little bit in the refrigerator. Some more parsley in there. Won't hurt it and we'll uh, chop that up. Ah, if you could only smell that. If you could only smell that garlic, that's your chimichurri sauce right there. Can you see that? Let me zoom in a little bit on that. Okay, that's what it looks like. Chimichurri sauce. See that? It's almost a paste, not quite. It's almost a salad dressing. Not exactly, but we're going to let those flavors, we're going to put that in a jar, you see that? Put that in a jar and let those flavors all come together, and then we're going to cook up our steak. So stay tuned, it's not a steak, it's a tri-tip. It's You cook it like a steak, but slice it like a brisket. So stay tuned. Okay, so there's my beautiful tri-tip roast, and I've cut all the silver skin off the top and the fat. It's got quite a fat cap on the bottom, but I'm going to leave some of it on there, because fat is flavor. I'm going to put some of the old 
Sang stir fry oil all over it. Rub it with that. And uh, then I'm going to put some of Tango Joe's Midnight Espresso. I'm just going to put a little bit, a light coat of Midnight Espresso on it. I'm not going to rub it like you would rub a brisket or a pork butt. I'm just going to put a little bit of Midnight Espresso just so you know it's there. And that's good stuff. That's the best seasoning that you can get for beef. How's that look? Maybe a little bit more. Maybe just a little bit more, a little more even coat to it. I'm going to pat that down, flip it over, put some more of that Sang stir fry oil on the bottom. And I left a lot of that fat cap on there. Uh, I didn't see anybody trimming their fat cap, so I don't know. I'm going to leave it on there. I'm going to put some of the more of that Tango Joe's spice on there. There you go. Now what I'm going to do is put that on the hot grill and sear it uh, both sides for about four minutes. Then we're going to put our meat thermometer in it and cook it to an internal temperature of 135 degrees. So stay tuned, I'll show you what that looks like. Really hot. We're going to throw that tri-tip on there, right on the hot grate. Let it get a good sear on it, on uh, the one side. You can see it's starting to get seared up right now. It takes about three or four minutes to get a good sear on it. You can hear it sizzling. And uh, yeah, it's starting to, starting to flare up that fats in the fire now. But we want to get it seared up. We want to seal the meat, actually seal it with its own sear. I'm going to flip it over now. See how that looks. Oh yeah, don't that look good? Can you see that? Oh Lord have mercy. Ah, uh, it looks great. We're gonna sear the other side for a while. Look at there. Woohoo! I've never had a tri-tip. I've never cooked one, never eaten one. Looking forward to it. Let's sear the other side for a couple of minutes. Looking good. Getting all smoked up. And you want to turn your meat with a with tongs and never use one of those uh, meat hooks that pierces the meat. It lets all the juices out of it. Let's see how that looks. Oh yeah. Don't that look like something? Let me zoom in on that. Don't that look good? Tri-tip, baby. Something I've never had. It looks excellent. Okay. I think we got enough sear going on that. I'm going to move it on indirect heat. Hope you can see that. Probably not. Okay, yeah. There we go. Moved it to indirect heat. And I'm going to put my meat thermometer into the thickest part of it. Right there. And we're going to cook it to 135 degrees and then we're going to pull it off there and let it rest and slice it and while it's coming up to temp I think we're going to drink a beer so please stay tuned. Okay there's the Frosty Root Boy mug and uh, where's my bottle opener? Oh here it is. Okay. Uh, today's beer is Hoptimum, <clears throat> I'm getting dry, Hoptimum Whole Cone Imperial IPA from Sierra Nevada Brewing Company Pardon me. I need a beer. Yeah, it says here Hoptimum is the biggest whole cone IPA we have ever produced. 100 IBU, which is the bitterness units. And a whole cone hurricane of flavor, aggressively hopped, dry hopped, and torpedoed. Hoptimum delivers ultra intense flavors to hop fanatics everywhere. I'm a hop fanatic, so I can't wait to taste it. Hoptimum. Let's see what that looks like. That's an Imperial IPA with extra hops. Oh boy, I love the look of it already. Looking sweet. Look at that. Put the head on that roll. Can you see that? What do you think about that roll? Nice head on that, huh? Zoom in on that. Woohoo! Yes, sir. That's the Frosty Root Boy mug.
Let's take a sniff of that Hoptimum Extra Hopped. My lord, it smells of hops. It smells of barley. Let's quaff the froth off it, Roll. What do you think? Ah, that's good. That's just what they said it would be. Sierra Nevada. Mmm. It's quite bitter. But I like it. I like it bitter. Sierra Nevada Hoptimum. That's today's beer. Okay, so we're still waiting for our steak to come up to temp. As soon as it does, we'll slice it up, put it on a plate with some chimichurri, and take a taste of it. So please, stay tuned. Okay, my tri-tip's up to temp. I mean, it came up to temp and I took it off and let it rest. Now I'm going to slice some of it across the grain, like they say, just like a brisket. Look at that. Oh man, that looks good. Look at that. Don't that look good? I'm going to slice a few pieces of that. Get it on my plate. Oh man. I hope that tastes as good as it looks. Can you see that? Can you see how juicy that thing is? Wow. Wow. Let's get some pieces of that on my plate. Get some of that chimichurri sauce on there. Whoa, it's tender as it can be. Look at that. How does that look? Not bad, huh? Oh yeah, look at that. Can you see that? Let me zoom in on that plate. Yeah, don't that look good? Let's put some of that chimichurri sauce on there and give that a shot. Some of my chimichurri. Some of that chimichurri sauce on there. Look at that. Don't that look good enough to eat? I'll tell you what. I think it is. I think that would go good, really good with this beer, too. Let's get a slice of that in my mouth. Ah, oh, it's really tender. Oh, my God. That's delicious. And that beer, that Hoptimum, excellent. Wow, that's good. Mmm. I'll definitely be getting another tri-tip, I'll tell you what. That's excellent. So hey, thanks for watching me eat and drink a beer. Oh, I got I need some more of that. That stuff's good. Look at that. Mmm. Chimichurri sauce is perfect for our beef. Anyway, that's my video. That's my beer. Hopped them. That's my tri-tip roast. Hope you like it. If you do, I hope you'll subscribe. If you don't, go over and see Tango Joe. Buy some of his spices. I used uh, Midnight Espresso on this one, and it was good. That Midnight Espresso is perfect with beef. It's perfect with brisket or any kind of beef. Hmm. That's delicious. Juicy and delicious. I highly recommend it. Tri-tip roast. All right, babies. I'll see you all next week. We'll cook something good, I promise. No, maybe not. We will drink a beer, though. Don't you worry about that. Okay, root boy out.